Is NMN really making a comeback? That's what several key indications are showing, but how does that affect us? And why should it matter to you? Well, I'm gonna give you some very strong arguments why we should all care very much about what's going on with NMN. Recently, I began seeing various NMN-related content showing up in my YouTube feed. Some of it as old as two years or more, and based on the view numbers, much of this content looks like it was never pushed out previously, so why now? Well, I asked Google that exact question, and get ready for it, you may be surprised with how it actually responded. Because just a few short weeks ago, when I asked Google if NMN content was being restricted on YouTube, and this was after the FDA's reversal making NMN a completely legal supplement, Google answered, yes, NMN content is restricted on YouTube. The reason it gave was, even though the FDA reversed its prior ban decision, NMN has had a problematic regulatory history. So in effect, Google and YouTube were continuing the de facto NMN ban regardless of the government's change of position, based on the fact that they had had a different position before. That to me is just insanity. It's as if social media is picking and choosing how it's going to respond to government actions. Also kind of scary. But flash forward to just a few days ago, Google has started to change its tune. After seeing the NMN content in my feed, I asked Google if NMN was making a comeback. And the answer I got was equally as surprising. Yes, NMN is experiencing a resurgence in visibility and discussion on YouTube feeds, particularly since the FDA's recent clarification in September that it is lawful for sale as a dietary supplement. This regulatory clarity has likely prompted a return of NMN-related content. Now, before I break down why this matters so much to all of us, whether we take NMN or not, Google didn't stop there. It went on to break down several reasons for this NMN comeback in the making. In addition to the regulatory reversal by FDA, the following reasons were given, starting off with ongoing scientific interest. Pharmaceutical companies continue to research NMN as a therapeutic agent, which keeps it in front of the public and scientific spotlight. In essence, because NMN is going to remain a supplement, it's more accessible to not only people who consume supplements, but for the scientific community that wants to research it. Another reason Google gave was established benefits. Ongoing research continues to highlight NMN's potential benefits, including supporting cellular metabolism, healthy aging, cognitive function, and physical performance. Holy cow, Google is now on Team NMN. More reasons. Improved supply chain. Following the FDA's updated stance, global NMN supply chains have stabilized, with vendors now having inventory available. I'll get back to this point more in a minute. Another reason? Consumer demand. The public and health-conscious consumers, particularly in the anti-aging and biohacking communities, have shown consistent interest in NMN for its potential to boost energy and longevity. And finally, direct absorption. New research indicates that mammal cells can directly absorb NMN, making it an effective way to boost NAD plus levels. Now this point is regarding the protein SLC12A8, which is believed to be the transport mechanism to help NMN enter the cells. This is a significant breakthrough that has been long questioned throughout the years. Does it enter the cells? So I got way more than I bargained for with the answer from Google about about an NMN comeback. And now that we know my NMN content shouldn't be restricted going forward, you might as well go ahead and subscribe to this channel as, hey, it looks like we're back in action. And if you subscribe before but aren't getting content, simply unsubscribe and subscribe again. That should help prompt YouTube to start showing you videos again. My video from four days ago, for example, about NMN and a recent hair growth study is already over 12,000 views and climbing. This is the best performing organic NMN video I've had in over two years. And here's why all this matters. One of the top sectors and one of the fastest growing sectors of healthcare is self-care. The upside to self-care is lowering the cost of healthcare and better public health. And when self-care content, such as many have posted, including myself, about NMN, when that content is restricted, the result is less discussion being shared about personal experiences. And this is the way people learn about self-care protocols. You basically limit people's access to self-care information and personal testimonials. Reason number two, in addition to being widely considered safe to 
consume as a daily supplement, NMN is now completely legal to sell and purchase as a supplement, meaning it will soon be available side by side with other popular supplements in your local grocery store and your local drug stores. Even though I take and discuss Do Not Age supplements, my personal brand of choice, and I offer a 10% code to my viewers, all in the description below, I'm ecstatic that soon anyone will be able to purchase NMN almost anywhere. I personally feel that the more people take NMN, the more it benefits everyone. Reason number three, mainstream healthcare professionals will be much more likely to suggest patients try NMN to combat any number of conditions that scientific studies have shown it may help treat. And here's the big one. Reason number four, all of this adds up to wider availability, increased overall sales numbers, and wait for it, pricing pressures. Yes, I again predict that NMN pricing will soon begin to fall for everyone taking NMN. This will help along this already occurring snowball effect and make it much easier for people to afford and continue purchasing NMN once they start taking it.